Hello everybody and welcome to another Vintage Fans and More how-to installation video. Today we're installing the brand new kite fan from Kitchler. This is another truly unique fan. There is really nothing typical about the installation on this one. There are a couple of cumbersome components, so I'll let you know right off the bat that you may want a second person to assist you in the installation process. Also to my regular viewers, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be getting back to the fan that you voted for me to install in the drone installation video. I've been receiving new products products kind of all in a row here so I just haven't had time to get back to that yet but I will soon. For now let's jump into the kite installation. Before you begin turn off power to the circuit at the breaker or fuse. Open the box. If you're utilizing a sharp instrument do not slice into the box as there are parts right beneath that could be damaged. I like to remove all the contents from the box so that I can lay them out and make sure everything is present and that nothing is damaged. Consult with the manual to make sure all parts are present and to check for what tools you need. With all parts accounted for, move directly to the ceiling. If you have an extra wire for separate light control, cap it with a wire nut and tuck it up into the box. It will not be used for this installation. Locate the ceiling bracket assembly. Feed the wiring through the center of the bracket and attach the bracket to your junction box with appropriate screws. Ceiling fans should only be mounted to electrical boxes visibly marked as suitable for ceiling fan support. If you have any doubts about your electrical infrastructure, contact a qualified electrician. Tighten the screws until the bracket sits flush against the ceiling. Remove the screw near the colored dot label on the bracket. Keep this screw nearby and do not lose it, you will need it again later. Locate the motor assembly and the two matching blade arms of your desired length, as well as the blade arm hardware screws. Take the first arm and slide it through one of the slots in the motor assembly. Line up the holes and fasten the arm to the hub with two screws, making sure they're tightened securely and seating properly. Repeat these steps for the second arm. This step can be a little bit tricky working on your own as you get to the second arm the motor wants to slide around a lot. You may achieve better results by sitting with the motor in your lap and attaching the arms that way, or simply have another person help you hold the motor in place while you tighten the screws. Locate the canopy assembly. Remove the four screws in the top of the motor assembly and keep nearby. Remove the rubber band from the wire harness if you haven't already. Feed the wiring through the center of the canopy assembly. Align the holes and reinsert the four screws, tightening securely. Make sure no wiring is pinched in the process. Align and securely attach the connectors from the motor assembly and the canopy assembly. Moving back to the ceiling, slightly loosen the two remaining screws in the bracket if you haven't already. Lift the entire motor assembly so far and hang it by the hook on the bracket. It should be hung by the solid hole, not one of the two keyhole slots. Gently allow the fan to hang downward while you complete wiring. Connect the two greens from the mounting plate and the canopy assembly to ground in your building structure, typically green or bare copper. Connect white to neutral, typically white. Connect black to your hot wire, typically black or red. Please note that I am not using the safety cable for my installation. If you wish to utilize it, now would be the time to follow those instructions from the manual. Ensure that the safety cable and all wiring is positioned so that it will be inside the canopy. Then lift the motor off of the hook and install it onto the mounting bracket. Align the keyhole slots with the screws, lift up, and turn to engage. Install the remaining third screw that you removed and saved earlier. If you have a magnetic screwdriver, now would be a great time to use it. The quarters are a little bit tight between the canopy and the ceiling. With the final screw in place, you can tighten all three securely. Locate the two blade assemblies. Slide the assemblies together, align the holes, and insert two screws. Tighten securely, making sure they seat properly. At this point, don't lift the blade assemblies by either end, only lift in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
holding the entire blade assembly by the center, attach it to the blade arms using one screw each. This part can be a bit tedious if installing on your own. This is another place where a friend might be helpful. It's easiest to get both screws started and then go back and tighten them each completely. These screws are essential to get totally tight, otherwise there is potential for the blade to wobble. After this step, we are done with installation at the ceiling. Locate the wall control. If you have an extra wire for separate light control at your wall box, cap it with a wire nut and tuck it into the box. Connect one black wire from the wall control to the incoming hot at your wall box, typically black. Connect the second black wire from the wall control to the switched wire that travels up to the fan, typically black or red. Connect the green ground wire from the wall control to your ground wire at the wall box if present, typically green or bare copper. Tuck all of the wiring into the wall box and fasten the control with the provided screws. Ensure that no wires are pinched in the process. Install the included wall plate or your own decorative plate to finish off the control installation. Restore power after all installation is complete. With power reapplied, your kite should be ready to operate. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button before you leave because there will be more videos like this coming up in the future. If you're subscribed, also hit the bell to turn on notifications before you leave so that hopefully you'll be notified when I upload. Thank you all for watching today and I will see you on the next one. Click left to watch my kite product review or click right to view my entire Kitchler playlist.